are an interior decorator, uh, please welcome Layla. Hello. Hi. Hi. Great to meet you. Great to meet you, too. This is Anna. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Um, Already got a billion ideas buzzing around about this space. Oh, about this space that we're in right now? Unsolicited, of course, but yeah, take the bull by the horns. Feels super decorated. Like, it feels like maybe you got this... No, I mean it was, yeah, but I mean it, it could always use a, a, a touch up or a refresh. I up guess. to you, your choice. No, I'd love to hear the ideas. I mean, especially if uh, you think something in particular is not working. Well, it's just pretty masculine in this space. Thank I you. am well, and you'll see. I don't mean that as a compliment. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> with all due respect. Like how masculine though? If you were to describe how masculine my space is, um, like beer barbell. Cool. Yeah. Man cave sort of energy. Man um, cave meets like lifting weights. Yeah. Stinky, kind of energy. Stinky musky. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I would say the leading feminist interior decorator oh, working in one. the space. Yes. Right. Is, it, is that a field that has a lot of competition to be feminist? Um, there is a lot of competition to be feminist because you're working in lots of spaces that are very dominated by men, like a hardware store or kind of the world in general. <laughs> And mm-hmm. I found I, myself. I don't know of a lot of hardware stores that are decorated. I, well, I guess... you're going to the hardware store to like get stuff. Oh, at the hardware store. Inside of a home, using things, materials sourced from <laughs> the hardware store, like found objects from the hardware store. Not so... bought. Not bought. Oh. Well, oh. I think the bravest thing you can do as a woman is take things from other places. So I'm actually working to have the largest carbon footprint of any interior decorator on the globe. Oh, okay. The largest. Wow. Yes, because for so long, women have been told by so much that we have to take up like small amounts of space. True. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Like disappear. Hey, you know, just stand in the corner. Shrink yourself down. Stand in the corner. Yeah. Stay in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically like so many men's dream is to shrink the woman. And then, yeah. mm-hmm. honey, I shrunk there. her. <laughs> yeah. Honey, I shrunk you. Yeah. And to <laughs> honey, me, honey, I shrunk thyself. Honey, I shrunk what I was <laughs> is my spinoff. Right. I yeah. was shrunk by so much. I was shrunk by honey. I, honey, I was that. Yeah. To be. Honey, I'm good. Honey shrunk me. Honey, wow. Romantic comedy. Ding, ding, ding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> also so, sexy. So what you want to do is you want to take up the most space and, yeah. you, and you're, you mean to do that ecologically? Ecologically, financially, um, basically just being a massive disruptor in the industry. What does that mean in your industry to be a disruptor? Well, I'm obviously, as I said, taking found objects from Home Depot and yeah, Low oh, Depot. Depot. Oh, it's Depot. I, I believe the T is silent. Uh, Maybe which to is not, you. Not the case in a lot of words. Wanting women to make it silent. I that apologize. is sick. Again, Walked I apologize. right into that. I, I'm sorry. We'll, I'll say it too. Depot. Thank you. What do you mean found objects at home Depot? Because uh, as far as I know, they have a lot of stock and, and it all costs money to take it out of the store. Um. Well, I find things that don't have price tag on Stolen? Them. Are you talking about stolen items? Uh, No judgment. I love this. But that is sort of the way that the patriarchy wants you to look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is exchanging of goods. Okay. For me, it's all about finding objects in spaces where women aren't welcome. So, for example, if I need a log, I'll go to the Amazon rainforest and cut one down. Because for decades, women have not been allowed to go there and cut down. Wow. Anything. Anything. Just one but log. they get cut down. They get you know cut down saying? by they are the men. Logs. Yeah. With the men. Okay. So I mean that that must be very expensive, but that's what you're talking about. The, I mean, just the 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 jet fuel alone to get down there. I mean, that's incredibly wasteful, I would say, for one log. Yeah, which is why I wriggle into the cargo section of planes so that I can sort of <laughs> offset costs on the way down. And then I can put all of my resources into hijacking a plane so I can get back home with my log. OK, when you say wriggle, what what's the process there? Well, I just sort of rearrange myself so that I can go body in wise? between body wise. Like in a yeah. suitcase. Yeah. OK. Or in between suitcases, oh. in, in someone else's suitcase, I'll I'll sort of intercept. So either a in a in a suitcase, yeah, <laughs> or in between suitcases, or in someone else's suitcase. These are the yeah. three possibilities of wriggling. Yes. So often you'll see a sidewalk uh, person taking <laughs> suitcases at the airport. Mm. So oh, the sidewalk the person, caps. yeah, correct. And I'll I'll sort of stand in their place 
intercept a suitcase, mm. dump out all the stuff that was in the suitcase mm. into the trash, get into the suitcase, take sort of wriggle myself with my little feet dangling out of the <laughs> yeah, sides. Can I of see those feet. little feet there, by the way? Let's see. Little little yeah, are. they're pretty small, I have to say, to brag. They're, they're not the smallest feet I've ever seen. But. Well, that's disrespectful, but um, okay. Well, I thought you wanted big feet. <laughs> I was going to say. But women yeah. are complicated. <laughs> women I'm sorry. have it's not one thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. Right. There are you... so many twos within a woman, and we have months, months of them. <laughs> mm. Okay, so you wriggle into the the uh, flight on the way there in a yeah. suitcase, and then you hijack the plane on the way back? Yes. So Why not hijack the plane on the way there? Because it's just me. Like, I don't need to take up that much space on the way there, but then when I have the log, I do oh, need a full plane. Oh, I see. Have you been to prison? For um, the hijacking? I've been near a prison, okay. but I have not actually been within a prison. So you haven't done any of this yet? No, no I've done. Oh, you have. I've done. You've done. I've done. So you've hijacked. I have. But you haven't gone to prison. Queen. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> well, that, uh, okay. uh, are you on the lam or uh, are you wanted by the law? Do they know who you are? You've hijacked planes. Hijacking I'm definitely illegal. very in demand as an interior decorator. Yes. So mm. people are hunting for me often okay. because my schedule is so busy because so much of it is spent in transit which i think everyone can relate to <laughs> especially in this los angeles traffic sure. i don't know how you guys do it hollywood where are you from actually i'm from just outside of hollywood <laughs> oh, okay santa carita yeah cool you religious or um i'm i i practice pretty much every religion oh wow at the same time or yeah or do you on different days of the week inshallah i will practice every religion i want to do god willing slay all right well this is this is incredible <laughs> what, what is your style would you say your aesthetic my aesthetic is baskets Huh, I don't know that I've heard that. I, I mean, I, I know like mid-century modern, uh, but just baskets, like... Big baskets. And you could be surprised what you could fit inside of a basket as long as the basket is big enough for the object. Okay, well, let's let's <laughs> run down the list. Um, rugs? Rugs, love to see those in a basket. Okay. <laughs> like pillows? Uh, you could put those in a basket. Wait, wait. But the basket isn't big enough for them. What about that? Oh, well, in that case, you could take out all the stuffing from the pillow, throw that in the trash mm, huh, or a river, and then put that, <laughs> uh, the the skin of the pillow in the Ew. basket. I've never, I guess I've never really. <laughs> I don't like it. Thought of a pillow as having the skin. skin. Well, the, yeah. the inside of the pillow is the guts and the bones, right. um, just like us. And mm. the outside is the, ba is the, the skin. The dermis. Yeah. The mm. epidermis. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. So almost anything can fit into a basket if the basket is big enough. If you're willing to break it also, which some <laughs> people are not, and those are not people I'm interested in working with. If you don't, if you want your MacBook Pro to stay in one piece so that it can fit <laughs> inside of a beautiful basket that I've sourced for you by stealing it from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, then <laughs> maybe you are not a perfect match. <laughs> okay, well, uh, what if we role played this? Like, say that you're coming in here and, and you want to redo this space and I'm a potential customer. Okay. Uh, what would you say? Okay, so I'd walk in and I'd go, ew, ew, ew. You're, you're waving your hand near your nose like it smells. <laughs> it stinks in here. <laughs> why, now, why is this a tactic? Uh, like, like mystery when he would neg women? I don't know if you know who this is. Oh, my close friend from childhood. <laughs> oh, you know mystery. <laughs> yes. Well, I have a few <laughs> friends named mystery, so you're going to have to narrow it down. <laughs> oh, okay. He's the, 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 the game. That you're still in conclusion. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, uh, what is this a because tactic? Because one of my friends, Mystery, works for um, Hanna-Barbera. So he's oh. doing games as well. Oh, okay. I didn't know <laughs> Hanna-Barbera was doing games. I is thought that they maybe cartoons. Hasbro instead that I'm yeah, thinking of? Probably, but Hasbro also does movies. So it's the crossover these days. Who knows? But I guess what I'm trying to ask is, is this a tactic where you're saying it smells or do you actually think it smells? I think pretty much every place stinks like shit. <laughs> Do you think that it's a problem with every place or do you have like shit in your nose? <laughs> I want to, I was wondering the same thing because there's a bidet in there. So it shouldn't be stinky. Yeah, have you, do, like what, in the morning, do you like go outside and then sniff shit every morning? <laughs> well, I try to not wipe as often as possible. Why would, why? I get, I get that. Yeah, because because you can really develop a sensitivity to, if you want to only use the toilet paper when you really need it. Okay, so do, I mean, you're, that being said, yeah, it stinks like shit. <laughs> 
All of that being said, it's, to you, it stinks like shit. It objectively, it stinks like shit. Okay, so that uh, let's con let's continue. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Ew, ew. I I apologize for I don't you know maybe there's a plumbing issue. I'll I'll try to fix that. But what do you think of the the place aside uh, from that? Oh, ugly, big ugly. Um, big walls. Wondering what we could do about that. Big, big walls are a problem. <laughs> I yeah. It to me. If you're gonna have the walls, you just should not have a ceiling. No ceiling in the play. I, I feel like we need the ceiling uh, protection from the elements. Yeah, you think you need the ceiling. You think you're not strong enough to weather the elements, but I'm here to tell you, you can weather the storm, whether it's outside or inside of you. In so you head. don't mean like a loft. You don't mean just like a place with no walls and a very high ceiling. You mean no ceiling. I would love to see this house without a ceiling. Huh. Okay, I mean, it's going to be difficult because they're, they're actually, this ceiling, there's another floor right above it. So I what kind of feel do? like the people who are above us would then suddenly like crash to the ground. Oh, it would be so amazing to be able to connect with those people in the floor above us by eliminating the ceiling in between us. <laughs> Maybe we just put a fire pole in there, you know, that we could slide up and down. I actually have an amazing gun that I have been using to blow holes in between floors. <laughs> Okay, do you do you have it with you? Um in the car. Okay, can we can, can I it's go out to the car with you? Uh no, you can't because I I really don't want you to know what kind of car that I drive. Okay, do you <laughs> do you mind leaving? And Here? getting the gun? Yeah. Oh, um <laughs> okay, wants me gone. <laughs> think I think like shit. Uh, um <laughs> Do you mind getting the gun? I mean, I'd love to just check out this cool I'd love to see it. Yeah, I'd you love say to you have a cool gun. gun? I'm I'll not really gun. pro guns, but but yeah, I'm to, interested just for interior design. Cool gun, but, right. yeah, I mean, How can I mean you, not you hear ask? so much about a guy with a gun, a good guy with a gun. But what about a strong <laughs> woman with a beautiful gun? Interior designer. Yes. So is it decorated? Um, not yet, but just we are like, working on it. Oh, okay, cool, cool, okay, cool. Go get this gun. I want oh, my God. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Ow! I, I, don't, I barely touched Listener you. Listener Scott hit me. <laughs> I bar I feel like I barely tapped you on the, just trying to get you out of the Where'd room. Where'd you tap me, Scott? the butt <laughs> i apologize Accept i'm from it. a different generation which one of an older generation where that used to be cool you don't know how old i am poking butts oh i'm just, uh, usually it's a compliment to say that you're younger than me well i want to be huge and ancient uh, how how old are you i'm getting my gun now oh shit <laughs> Okay, she just left the room. Anna, this is strange. I'm right? freaked out. I wish you didn't yeah. ask for the gun. I don't frankly. know what I was thinking. I, I just know. asked if I could have the gun. It's and strange. it was the first thing that popped in my mind. And suddenly I realized she's coming back here with a gun. And she's on set. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey. Hi. Sorry. Don't be. <laughs> it's okay. Aww. Where do you, do you have your, your weapon with you? Yeah, it's strapped underneath my clothes. What, John McClane style? Yeah. Are you hitting on us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to need to get it out of me. I don't I mean you saw how you reacted when I tapped your little butt. I don't I don't know that don't I want to take your clothes little. off to grab your gun. She's taking space up, right? It's not little. It's not little. Nope. I beg your pardon. I shouldn't call it little. I, but uh do you really if you want me to reach no, in there? No. 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 I wasn't talking to you. I'm, you were talking to Anna? I was talking to Anna. I'll I'll if you want. Get in. Okay. Are you oh, sure? Yeah. Okay, I feel this like is super awkward. Not sexy at all. This is the most awkward, <laughs> angular. Ah, oh, and now ah, Layla is okay. grunting ah, it's, it's like a, she's giving birth. Well, or it's something. attached to her skin. Oh, okay. oh. yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know what. Yeah. Oh, okay. How does it feel? It's quite light. Yeah. It almost feels like a not real, but like yeah. This looks like a prop gun. It look. It's first of all, it's orange. Okay. Open your mind up. <laughs> <laughs> Open my mind up? Yeah. Uh, to, to what? To this being, I mean, it looks like a plastic toy gun that to you got at the supermarket. The possibility of a woman interior decorator having an amazing gun. Okay. So this is a metaphor. Yes. Got it. Okay. Oh, so everything you've been doing is a metaphor, even the fact that you smell shit everywhere is a metaphor i actually have no idea anymore <laughs> so you're like a performance artist essentially in a way oh and you're you're here to help us understand things in a different way not to decorate the house well if you still like me at the end i would love to decorate your house 
at the end. Wow. I don't know that I liked you at the beginning. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no creative vision, no judgment, but zero creative vision for this room or their, this house. I do feel that there is something quite stinky about the energy. <laughs> Again, of I just think that's you. I, I, I don't. Um, <laughs> I think there's something really stinky. And I hmm. think the allies in the room will agree with me. Um, <laughs> but other than that, yeah, no vision other than to get the spiritual stink out of Scott's home. Huh. Okay, well, you know, I mean... You sound like an energy worker, not an interior designer. I say that with support, love, I trust feminism. (laughs) Me too, trust in you. Okay, and I think you're just a crackpot, but uh, I I don't know. And, uh, and, And also, it sounds like you're on the run from the law. And I could get a reward by turning you in and calling the FBI right now. Well, guess what? You're not going to get a reward because they actually don't even want me because they say that I'm too annoying. So nice this try. Is, I mean, and this was all a metaphor. The, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. Like, that is one way to escape from the laws. Just be annoying where they're just like, this is too much trouble. Yeah. If you have if you have such a rank personality (laughs) that they don't even want to keep you behind It's good that you realize this, though. I guess. (laughs) You're the one who said it. Isn't it a prison? I think living as me is enough of a prison in and of itself. That's a good point. I mean, we're all trapped in these bodies that our parents gave us. (laughs) And there's no way out. No way to escape. Unless you take the stuffing out. That's a good point. Okay. Well, uh, Layla, uh, I think you're bad at your job, Whoa. but I appreciate you coming here and telling us about it. How uh-huh. much do you get paid to do a session? I have yet to be paid. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. 